Hey folks, Crazy Climb Ready here again. And this time we're going to look at another game for the Deco Cassette System called uh, Pro Tennis, created by Daddy East in 1982 for the Deco Cassette System. And uh, this game's okay. It's uh, one of the few sports titles for the Deco Cassette System. And I'd never heard of it before until recent years. And I'd certainly never seen it in an arcade. But uh, this was one of the many Deco Cassette System games that is very obscure. The uh, only ones I remember seeing were Astro Fighter, Lock and Chase, Mission X, um, Burger Time, Bump and Jump. And that's just about it. <laughs> Uh, there were like 48, 48 or so uh, Deco Cassette System games, maybe 49 or 50. Um, I've just about got half of the Deco Cassette System games done for uh, videos. But uh, this game isn't bad, but what could help would be a shadow underneath the ball as it flies back and forth across the court uh, because otherwise it's it's hard to see sometimes when when you're having to hit it from like out of bounds uh, the ball is really hard to see and you sometimes have to guess and just swing and hope that you're gonna connect because <laughs> the ball can get right by you real easy if you're not careful uh, what I would recommend is try for cross-court shots and those are very hard for the opponent to hit and on the same token they're hard for you to hit when the computer does it to you as well um, here's the boot up screen in um, in this game MAME which is the program I use to emulate this game does not tell me that the colors are incorrect if colors if it colors are incorrect with the game MAME will usually say colors are not 100 percent correct or they're completely wrong or something they didn't say that with this game but your character's skin is pink so uh, hmm I kinda wonder maybe the tennis players were sunburnt before they decided to play <laughs> There was a follow-up to this game called Super Doubles Tennis, and MAME does say that the colors are not right with that game. They're not 100% correct, so uh, I don't know. <laughs> but um, we'll go ahead and get started in just a sec. And uh, that is one cheapo title screen. <laughs> the dot isn't even right above the eye. <laughs> it's just so cheapo. But, uh, yeah, your tennis player might not be as fast as you'd like. And they wiggle in place. It's kind of irritating when you're trying to move. You, uh, you try to get four points before the opponent. You can rush the net and and make a quicker shot, a harder shot to hit. But that also leaves you susceptible to a shot going over your head and getting behind you. That sound when you serve is really annoying. And I got a nice cross court shot to go right by him. So I have a one to nothing lead. Your character that you control is a woman and the computer is a guy, and there's another nice uh, cross-court shot. And, uh... I got one right over him. He rushed the net, and that was a big mistake. So I just have to get one more point. <laughs> he was swinging at air there. So I advance to, at the bottom it'll say game count, now it says game count 2. 
once you reach 10,000 points, you get an extra chance to, uh, to try to get four points against the computer. See at the, on the top left, there's a stick figure icon that indicates your chance. If you lose in, and the computer gets four points, then you lose that one, uh, that icon. And I got another shot over his head because he rushed the net. That was a bad idea. Ah, couldn't quite catch that one. There is no referee in this game. I was sitting in a high chair. Uh, sometimes it it looks like the ball is gone. And I got that over his head. Sometimes it looks like the ball has gone out of bounds. And they still call it in, but it's it, they're probably right. So yeah, if you, if you get good at... Uh, doing cross court shots definitely uh, definitely try to go with those it's kinda stupid that oh thank goodness that was out because that was way too fast for me to catch up to it's kinda stupid that your your tennis player doesn't turn turn around that was barely in when uh, if you go past the ball I mean you have to your character here is facing to the right. If if the computer hits it and it's to the right of you and you want to get like past it and then hit it the other way across the court, you can't. It's really stupid. You can only face to the right. And now I move on to game count four. At 10,000 points you'll get an extra chance. So far, I haven't needed any of my chances. I think... I can't... <laughs> there are some words that are hard to... That was that definitely out, yeah. There are some words that are hard to... Yeah, there's my extra chance. 10,000 points. Some words that are hard to tell how they're spelled. Uh, receive, I think, is actually spelled R-E-C-I-E-V-E. -E. The old saying, I before E except after C, does not always work. At any rate. You get, uh, there's another nice, uh, cross-court shot. You want to try to do those when you can. And if your character were allowed to turn around, like Peter hit that out, um, then uh, you could uh, you could do them from anywhere. I mean, from uh, the left or right side of the court. But you can't turn around, which is stupid. Uh, the computer comes perilously close to hitting it out of bounds a lot. Oh, I barely got to that one in time. Ah, damn it, it didn't quite make it to that one. Yeah, it's hard to see that bulb. Ooh, thank goodness he hit it out. So sometimes you just have to keep swinging and hoping that you're going to connect. Not sure if you're actually swinging at the ball. Oh, oh nice hit. Or nice shot. See, the computer's starting to hit the ball harder and at tougher angles to hit. never seen this game before uh, th 
the uh, majority of the obscure titles for uh, uh, the Deco cassette system were probably uh, probably only seen in uh, Japan, or or were probably much more popular in Japan. Ooh, that was a nice uh, cross court shot. Yeah, from, I think, pretty much this point on, you don't get a cross-court shot at the computer. He'll be, uh, he'll be much quicker than you, or he'll be far too quick. Yeah, your tennis player doesn't seem to want to control just like they should. Just got that in the court. It comes comes perilously close to uh, going out of bounds just about all the time. Yeah, I lost. So I lose one of my uh, chances. There goes one of my uh, icons. I have to lose the other one plus lose again to uh, get a game over. Was definitely out. It'd be kind of cool if there was a ref and uh, they sometimes got the call wrong and you could uh, argue with them and possibly win an argument. Kind of like in, uh, in what's a game, uh, Kings of the Beach for the NES, where you could argue and sometimes win on a bad call and he would give you the point, which is kind of cool. And Kings of the Beach was a volleyball game, which was one of my favorite NES games. Down to my last chance now. I don't care. Yeah, uh, Tennis for the Atari 2600 by Activision was my favorite tennis game. I love that game to pieces even if it was super easy. You could do uh, cross-court shots all the time. I remember uh, getting perfect 6-0 sets all the time against the computer. But on that one, you'd be able to turn your tennis player around to hit the ball from the other side, and you can't do that with this game, which is stupid. Oh, shoot. Still alive. You get 10 points each time you hit the ball, and you get a lot more points when you when you get a point. Ah, computer player's much better at this point. Game over. You don't put in your initials or anything. You just get the new high score. That is Pro Tennis by Daddy East in 1982 for the Deco Cassette System. And they really should have had a shadow under the ball as it bounces around. This is Crazy Climber 80 saying thanks for watching Pro Tennis by Daddy East in 1982 for the Deco Cassette System. Hope you enjoy uh, Columbus Day. This is Crazy Climber 80 saying thanks for watching, and I will be back with another video in the near future. See you, folks. Bye bye.